How's it going? It's Mike. Uh, so for this week's social and economic justice discussion, uh, the prompt I chose is number one. Uh, as for the first question, as you understand implicit bias, can a person genuinely believe that racism is wrong and still hold an implicit, implicit racial bias? Um, I think so. Uh, I definitely think so because I've personally seen it in my life with some of my loved ones. Um, as well as I can remember in middle school, I know that um, from probably elementary school to middle school, I, I remember. It's kind of foggy, but I remember having implicit uh, biases back then. But looking in retrospect, now that I'm older, um, I can see the reasoning for which I, I had those. Um, I didn't have too many different backgrounds of race, religion, culture, etc. until I hit like high school, college. So now that I've uh, created and nurtured different friendships and relationships with my girlfriend, best friends, and such, um, they've definitely helped me, uh, you know, reshape my past biases and just ways of thinking. It takes time, effort, willingness to change, and uh, self-awareness. Most importantly, you have to be self-aware that you were thinking incorrectly and having those biases incorrectly and want to do something about it. As for the second question, has someone ever made an automatic judgment about you that turned out to be wrong? I'll describe this incident. Um, I can't point out a specific time when I was younger. Um, I was always open, inviting, uh, and friendly to the new students and kids um, whenever I met them. Um, I didn't never, they never really had anything negative to say about me. Um, as I got older and matured, I mean, I realized... Uh, that I'd take that for granted as a kid, um, listening and hearing all these different stories and, and such as I've grown up, that I didn't have to deal with that. So I definitely was uh, definitely grateful uh, that I didn't have to deal with something like that. But um, I, I, I was, I hadn't really been exposed to that flip side um, and been incorrectly judged or ridiculed. Um, so I'm grateful for that. But I also want to better myself and better uh, others that, uh, are doing such or try to be there for people that have had have that done, like my closest friends and uh, ones I'm in a relationship with. Uh, if I had to think of any automatic judgments um, as I've gotten older, I would say it'd be the flip side. Um, so people nowadays or over the past couple of years, they have different implicit biases for people of my skin color. Um, and not to say that there's anywhere near um, people of other colors or races, religions, um, almost every other one. Uh, the people of the whiter skin color, they don't really get it as hard or as bad as other ones. But I would say if I had to think of any, it would be that people are mis are incorrectly judging me or having biases of me um, without ever getting really to know me just because of my, uh, my skin color and how they have seen that in other people with the same skin color as me. There are many reasons for them to have that. I mean, we see it in the news all the time. Um, and I see it personally um, with people of the same skin color as me that give reasons to those other um, religions, races, cultures to have that on us. But I try my best to um, make sure I'm not hurting anyone, judging anyone, taking time to think and before I speak or anything along that nature. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I just want to make sure um, I don't hurt anyone or judge them based off of how they look. Uh, I rather want to base them off of how, they're, how they actually are and who their personality is. So for the third question, describe a time when you made an automatic assumption or judgment on another person. Um, when I was in middle school, I would say I was at my peak of trying to be like the class clown and making everybody laugh and such. So letting that be known, I definitely had tunnel vision when it came to that. Um, I was kind of just stuck on what can I do to make people laugh. Um, sometimes it was that. Most of the time it was expensive me, but I don't really, it's kind of foggy back then, but I do remember times, um, cause I have changed until from then. So I do remember times where there were different little stupid jokes that I shouldn't have said, um, that definitely had hurt some people's feelings. Um, just in, in the vein of just trying to be a jokester and make people laugh, not really knowing uh, what I was doing or what the cause of me wanting to make others laugh would be on, the, on some of those others. Um, I never really said the jokes to other kids per se. Um, they were usually just in like my group of friends and everything like that. So either way, I mean, the fact that I'm saying them out loud or um, the fact that I had even been thinking about those ones um, was wrong. So I'm glad that I've made progress since then to um, not many, not really joke about it. It just seems wrong. Like thinking back on those ones, it just seems wrong to have ever thought that that was even 
remotely okay or funny to use that people's different, I guess, races, colors, just anything and putting them into categories and such without ever really getting to know them. So I, I can't remember any any um, specific things from back then, but, but definitely just along those lines. Um, but for as of like high school and college, um, just normal jokes like between friends and though I, I wouldn't say that I had made any sort of assumptions or judgments like that are like really rude or crude towards any uh, anything like that. Uh, once I started to get you know exposed to different different cultures and races and such. Uh, as for the fourth question, how can you personally reduce your implicit bias towards categories of people? Um, I believe uh, it kind of goes back to the first question that I answered uh, to personally reduce that bias. I mean, you just, uh, what was it you have to, yeah, that's what it was. You, it's not really about training classes and such that we uh, kind of saw on the prop two for the Starbucks. Uh, it's not really about that. Um, it's about, you know, just being self-aware and self-critical of your, like just, you have to actually sit down if you want to change you will take the steps and you'll actually be able to crit criticize yourself without getting too like hard on yourself and actually make those steps and those strides to being a better person. Um, it, it really is the willingness. You need time and effort. I know from middle school to now, I mean, that's been a lot of years. I've been in college for about four and a half years. So that's yeah, probably around like 10 years. It's taken time. It's taken a lot of relationships um, nurturing those, um, a, a relationship with my girlfriend. Um, I would say uh, without really me trying to, most of the closest people to me now are of all different types of backgrounds, religions, colors, etc. Um, and not that I chose it to be that way, but I'm definitely grateful for it being that way because I like to open myself up to getting to know and getting to understand all of those different things and bettering myself and trying to put that betterment out to others and be uh, an example for them. <clears throat> so to couple with that, um, when it comes to reducing the bias, it's more about taking time to understand the people in the categories, whether it be their age, religion, uh, color of their skin, job type, et cetera, just any, anything in those lines. Um, everyone in the world is different. We can't really put them into categories as much as, as much as we think people that look the same or people that um, have the same religion, people in the same job. We like to just not put too much thought into it and put them all in the same box, same bubble. Uh, we shouldn't really do that. We should actually give those people a chance to show us what, um, how they are unique, how they're different. Just because they look like something else that you've seen or someone else that you've seen that have done bad doesn't mean they're going to do bad just along those lines. Um, everyone's influenced by other people. I know that. And you're also influenced by their environment. So that comes with different biases from people. Um, but as for working on yourself personally, you, you kind of got to just separate the two. You got to separate people's environment and the people they're around and an individual person because everyone has, has the capacity to uh, do better and be better and not be the stereotypical version of what they look like or anything like that. Um, and everybody has a chance to, uh, you know, be their own person, have their own thought process in the way they go about things. So... We just got to make sure we let those individuals come to us. I know it's it's hard to just by look at saying just by looking at someone don't make up uh, come up with a bias or don't think a certain way, but um, just try to before you say anything or make any comments. Just let them show you who they are individually first before you make any sort of, of judgments like that.